Sheik is very nice. Uh, he has a Bayonetta too. Yeah, I've seen that before. I think I think the Sheik is more polished mm -hmm. most of the time, but the Bayo is, has some crazy playmaking. Uh, and in the vein of his Ryu, really, which we're seeing right here. That's the last time I saw his Bayo, but. It's been a while. Yeah. I remember seeing it at some weeklies like over the summer. Um, I haven't been here since, but I've, like, in watching the stream, I haven't really seen anything other than this most of the time. Okay, wow. <laughs> They're just punching each other. This, this we, looks like a 2D know, fighter. Do we know if random tripping, like, off moves is an ultimate? <laughs> that, like, that's the I most don't tilting, actually know. That's the most tilting mechanic in the game, too. Like, for <laughs> DK or something, like, down tilt, oh, God. 25% chance of Tell critical me about hit. about it. <laughs> critical hit, dude. Like, yep. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm dropping the edge guard there. Could cost him because of how volatile his matchup can be. <laughs> This matchup's insane. You do not want to be it, dropping things. The yeah. first 10 seconds just looked like Street Fighter. Mm -hmm. Like, they just walked up, pressed jab a couple of times, yeah. walked back away. Oh, they're, they're, oh, they're boxing, quite. dude. Like, yeah, they're, like, yeah, they're really just playing Street Fighter out here a lot of the time. Falcon's got really good frame data, too. He can, he can oh, yeah. fight Ryu. Yeah, like, he could definitely do it. He just needs to not get hit by any vertical moves. Like, any vertically launching move is going to be the end of it. But now he's going to not die. One thing I always point out when I watch Jen's sets is he uses RTC better than pretty much anyone I've ever seen with this character. And really with most characters that aren't Wario, uh, RTC run turnaround cancels, that little movement you get where you slide when yeah. you change directions, and you can cancel it into any tilt or smash attack or anything like that. Kind of like the Squirtle type from Brawl. Yeah, yeah, shell shifting, but a little bit less, a little less extreme. ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> um, shout out to shell shifting, that's mm -hmm. the coolest thing. Crazy I hope that comes effect, back. Yeah. Hydroplaning, dude, everything. Like, yeah. That works. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dude, I love Squirtle, great character. Um, so Jen's starting to run away with this one here, but at the same time, two hits could tie it up. Ooh, wow, he just back punched air. him in the face. Didn't even he care does not the care about the fireball. Yeah. All right, 72 on Miss Falcon right now, though. Here he's got to avoid confrontation. The, the down tilt from on stage traded with Falcon's grab, uh, command grab, and that forced Jen off stage for a moment there. We don't question the power of you hit boxes. They're, they're <laughs> I'm, I'm just curious how Falcon dragged him in, into the off stage area with that. When you trade a Falcon, but, uh, yeah. the grab like breaks. And, and you get like you warped get to where off. you would have yeah. been grabbed. And wow. then and then you just sort of fall. Great job using the DP for his intended purpose. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it was an actual DP right there. Oh, what Whoa, the? Whoa, what? what the? He just DP'd and grabbed. Wait, 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 wait. He just DP'd and grabbed. What was wait, that? Wait, wait, wait. Can wait. we get a replay of that? But like he got the grab. <laughs> yeah. Didn't he? Okay. What so what the shit? So he trades with jab, and there's so little hit stun on jab that Falcon is still in the end lag, the hit lag of getting Shoryu'd. But and Falcon, he gets grabbed. Wait, didn't Look Falcon at this. get the grab though? What the? No. Oh, what? Ryu the? gets the grab. So they trade Falcon Jab with a DP. I've never seen anything Ryu like that Ryu gets stuck before. in place because he got hit after the invincibility runs out. That was so crazy. <laughs> and, and then, and like, how? I don't know. There's, there's so Jen little was... hit lag on Jab and so much on Shoryu that Falcon is stuck and Ryu is not. That grab was so And he gets a free grab. Too. That was so I, cool. I don't know if Jen actually like reacted to that fast enough or like he just mashed grab. Like how did he, I, how did he know that was? I happen, can't dude? imagine that he did, but also I'm always blown away by how quick his reactions are. So also, Ryu he very totally, well might have. Totally just took that knee. To yeah, he's just care. like fine, yeah. hit me. Yeah, I don't care. That's a 12. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Fury doing a good job keeping him on ledge, but those were some great recoveries by Jen, just sort of minimizing the damage there. And now he's down in percent, but it's still a very close game, and it would not have been had he dropped the stock right already. We talk about Falcon's uh, bad recovery a lot, but Ryu against Falcon off stage. Ryu against not anyone. So good either, yeah. Pretty shaky recovery. Falcon he just in needed particular, neutral. like he's got weak knee, down air, like a lot of edge guarding tools that are really yeah. good. Yeah. Tipping up air. Oh, that was such a good idea, but the double uh, the double hit of getup attack catches him out of it. Great conversion though, and now he's basically tied up again. One of the things you see with them spacing these aerials in neutral and just sort of spacing their moves like a little bit away from each other. Uh, Falcon typically with the better frame data across the board outside of just the tilts from Ryu, but like Ryu's attacks are so powerful and he's got such big hitboxes on like back air and stuff. Makes for some really interesting wow. interactions, like that strong up tilt totally right there. Totally called out that jump to the air, but Ooh. doesn't call it out that time. Gets the landing back air, he's gonna get a stock. Yep, All right. that's not true. Respect me <laughs> on wake up. Yep. Respect me on wake, wake up. Wake up in the air. Yeah, yeah, wake up in the air because we're playing Smash Welcome Bros. Welcome to Smash Bros, where you can wake up DP in midair. <laughs> Gotta love it. Don't even need meter for this. <laughs> Great back air right there. Fighter Five. Oh Incredible no, conversion. dude. Oh, I think he missed the double jump. Yeah, I think he missed the double jump input. He was definitely baiting that air dodge. That was a fantastic combo right there, though. Mm -hmm. He was down like 30%, now he's up 30%. Mm -hmm. Leads don't exist, bro. Like, oh man, nice up. Uh, 
weak knee foot to trap. Frame yeah. trap, I guess, uh, in some way. Couldn't really convert much off it, but he still got the stage advantage, uh, so. Oh, misses the knee just barely. Whoa, oh, that's gonna be it, the lock. <laughs> that was so good. Very I forgot good Ryu can do that. Then. Yeah. That was amazing. That wasn't a technical sin either. Yeah, you, you gotta hit those techs. Yep. Yeah. So he air dodges through that, gets back off um, onto the stage. Short hop Nair, just misses the yeah, tech. Hadouken <laughs> Run resets. Up. Run up DP. That was a fantastic <laughs> conversion to finish that match from Jen. Great conversions all across the board. Right. There, yeah. we saw uh, we saw him bring that whole thing back with that 60% string. And um, I got to play.